Hey everybody, welcome to the Dad Challenge Podcast. My name's Josh. Today we're talking about the Ingham's and this big debacle over in Scotland or wherever they are. Um, it's just becoming a shit show with, with YouTube parents who are influencers, who are showing their life as parental influencers and doing it all wrong, like Jess Fam in the pool thing and this situation now with Ingham's and their kids on a lake without... It's dangerous. Let's just be there. It's crazy. We're going to get into it. The Englands are one of the most icky families on YouTube of ex for exploitation purposes. Chris Ingham is disgusting. We did a video about him before, but uh, soliciting, allegedly soliciting a 16-year-old girl at Disney and has just gotten off scot-free about it. Like, nobody has done anything about it. This girl is literally out there with her receipts and no, and people, he still has fans. It's mind blowing. And so we're gonna cover them a little bit more. People have been begging me to cover more of the Ingams. And so here we go. This video is gonna be pretty telling because I've got her Instagram stories. I've got this guy from, is it crazy canoeing kayaking or something like that? It was like, I don't know, calamity kayaking or something like that, who filmed going up to Chris and saying, you know, your kids need flotation devices. And then Chris being like, you'll see. And I've got other things. So we're going to talk about it a little bit today. But before we get to that, we are going to dance, throw a dart, and win some prizes. Yeah, baby. Oh. Oh. All right. You win a sticker. Let's go, YouTubers! Yeah, baby. Got my darts. Got my darts. We're going with the Irish dart. Sarah Coonan. My thrones for you already. Oh, a sticker. Let's go. So first thing first, here's the photo. Okay. If you see this, these kids are out in the lake. Okay. And you guys know how I feel about water safety. Okay? I know, I know I'm like being a super dad about this stuff, but water safety is important. Okay. Can we be there? Let's be real. Jess Fam even made a video because she got so much pushback. I don't know if she made a video in response to me, but she got pushback for having her kids jump in a pool, be around a pool in like a concrete pool with edges where she's not watching her children, letting cameras do the work. And to this day, she still hasn't apologized. She hasn't said, Hey families do this, make rules. She's stupid. We're going to keep covering that. But look how far these kids are out in this paddleboard. I went paddleboarding with Mark this weekend for the first time. And it's not actually easy. I bailed so hard and Mark laughed at me for about a half an hour. Because I bailed really hard. Um, but these kids are, one of them looks like she's six, maybe. I don't know the ages of the children. One of them looks a little bit older. And then looks like there's like three age groups out there. So... What do you see that's wrong here? Obviously, there's no flotation devices. That is so dangerous. If one of those kids were to fall in, hurt themselves, or whatever the case may be, you're not getting out there in time to save their life. The guy that comes and approaches them soon, you'll see it in a video in a minute, was super upset about it, and people were taking photos of these kids out in the lake. It is what it is. Looks like a beautiful spot. Um, but again, they're really far. If you can see that shoreline from there, that's like... I don't know, 80 yards, 100 yards from the from the thing with no flotation devices on. It's just, oh gosh, we can be we can be here that this is dangerous and stupid and don't do this. Don't allow your kids to get out into the middle of a lake without flotation devices. That's the dumbest thing you could possibly do, right? So, so then this video surfaces and this guy comes up to him from Calamity Kayaking, who's not, I don't think he's like a, he's like a, an officer or anything like that. He's just like a concerned guy who they take this seriously. It's probably, they operate out of this lake a lot. And he's just like, look, dude, and let's watch it. Hi, sorry, Mr. Ingram. Yes. Hi, Good morning, Mr. Ingram. Good morning, how are you doing? One guy said Mr. Ingram. <laughs> Name's Paul Richardson. I'm a water safety guy on the trust. So I'm going to stop you there, Paul. You're wearing Crocs. That's, uh... Are you sure? Okay. Hello. We received numerous reports about the kids being on the uh, paddle boards with no blind seat. Also, Chris Ingram still wears skater shoes. And Chris Ingham still has a damn haircut circa 1997. You know, pop punk 
Emo, stop, dude. Stop it. Okay. No wetsuits. Okay. So I'm just going why to... Is, why is that an issue? No wetsuits and no flotation devices. Chris is like, why is that an issue? Hmm, you're a parent, right, dude? Well, they're in the middle of a lake. I mean, what do you mean? Why is that an issue? So Chris could have just said, you know what? You're right. Sorry. I'll make sure they have them. Even if this guy has no authority whatsoever, right? If a guy approached me and said, oh, kids, you kids should really have some flotation devices. I don't know. Would I get pissed? I'd be like, you know, you're right. Although my kids never would anyway, but I would definitely be like, okay, you're right. I'm just going to walk away. What do I need to start shit for, right? Well, it's a bio here. All right. Okay. Why is it an issue? Yeah. Now, well, why don't you have a wee think about what you've just said? <laughs> I love this. Why don't you have a little we think about what you just said? <laughs> this guy is my this guy is me as a grandpa. Why don't you just have a we think about what you just said? <laughs> Cause it was dumb, dude. What you just said was dumb. <laughs> and then get back to this. I'll give you a business card. Okay. Here's the business card. Okay. I'm not sure I didn't know that was a, a it's, it's not even if it's not a bylaw of Mr. Ingram. It's all Ingram. He's dead. He's mispronouncing his names on purpose, and I love, I love this guy for it. Oh, common sense, though. But you do not put your young kids on a blind side. Yeah. Uh, they're, they're teenagers. And well, it doesn't matter. No, they weren't teenagers. One of them was a teenager. So he's lying right now. What age are they? Fifteen. Yeah, it's so under six, under eighteen. So they're kids. So fifteen. Yeah, they're under they're kids. <laughs> no, they're kids. So we've received phone calls this morning. You okay. receive them because we're famous online, that's well, why. It's not about <laughs> you receive them because we're famous online, that's why. Being that's famous, that's mate, you're not famous. Well, we are famous. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Chris isn't wrong. He's like family vlogger famous. I mean, YouTube subscriber famous. It's more like they're infamous. So there's, I mean, I guess that is famous, meaning that they're very well they're very widely hated by so many people because of who he is. The exploitation of children, the, the soliciting a 16-year-old girl at Disney, and other things in uh, inboxing. He's a troll. His mom gets into shit. They get in. They like, they are, these people, they are like crazy. Him and his mom specifically are, they are nuts. Trying to protect every dollar, right? And there's some creepy vibes to this guy. Everybody knows it. You're not so famous. So there's a cap. Why, why, why? Why are you telling me I'm not famous? Why are you being so rude? Why are you banging him? <laughs> so the guy, to this point, the guy's being a little bit like edgy. He's being a little bit sandpaperish, but he's not being super rude. He's just like, why is it dumb that your kids aren't there? Have a think about it. So it's I will agree with Chris it's a little bit rude, but he's not in there freaking up on his grill. As soon as he told Chris you're not famous, that's when Chris got super pissed. In the morning, being rude like that, there's absolutely no need. Who banged on the door, sir? Did okay. you bang in the door? Myself, not, uh, no, 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 I know, sir, but there's yeah. absolutely no need in the... So they didn't bang at the door, and he's like, no, we didn't. He's like, well, okay. <laughs> Your tone, what? No, 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 this man's my witness, so there's no tone, my friend. I'm asking you... Yeah, he says, no tone here, I'm just asking you, please, keep your kids safe. Blind shades on your kids, please. I've heard this is a bylaw here, so you fine, must. You don't need to be rude about it. I'm not. So Chris has escalated at this point. Look. They're sort of both wrong, but Chris at this point has been like, he escalated it past this. Being rude, my friend. You are being No, rude, I'm not. Actually. Here's a witness. You I haven't let me finish, okay? okay? And I'm just asking you nicely, if you're going on YouTube and any other site, please put blind shades on your kids. I that's know. all I'm asking, my friend. Yeah, that's, that, that was okay? Absolutely normal okay, well, you have a good mean. holiday, and I believe you're moving up north, so just remember... But guy knows where he's going and everything. <laughs> Shades it all time, okay, my friend? Okay. Okay. This is like the guy calling the guy his buddy. I'm not your buddy, chief. He's like, okay, my friend, goodbye. He's like, that's like, that's, ah! that's a stab right there. Thanks a lot, Mr. Ingram. Thank you. Thank you. They brought a witness with them. Guy's got a Range Rover. So, okay, there's a video. So the next video I got was of her getting all upset on her stories. And I got that right here show you guys so i downloaded her story um let me see it address there good afternoon everyone ah! I have to come on here very very quickly did you have to did you have to scream like that and address the life jacket posts that have been floating around with regards to wearing life jackets on locks so i just want to quickly start by saying that we weren't aware of the dangers and this is also wrong. There's a guy named, I forget the name of this other guy who's out there, does videos about them all the time. They are aware of the dangers of not having life jackets. They've been called out multiple times 
hundreds of comments, if not thousands, about another uh, incident when their kids weren't wearing life jackets. So they are completely aware. They've been called into this before. And she's just lying. She's literally lying right now. Of locks in general. and of Water. Water. Just water in general. She's, she's, it's semantics what she's saying here. And locks, we didn't know you had to wear things on locks. Is it water? Can you drown in it? Wear a flotation device if you're young. Got it? Cool. See, our girls have been out on the paddle boards without life vests on. Obviously, being educated on things like this is only a good thing, and we do. Ma You've already been educated on it. Lots of receipts out there. Lots. Dougal, that's his name. The guy Dougal just did a video about them and showed all the receipts of them getting hate for not for doing this before. So she's she's just clearly lying. Massively appreciate every single one of you guys that have told us and informed us about the dangers in an appropriate manner. Obviously, as you an appropriate manner meaning in a manner that we'll accept, right? Don't forget these people, their their fans are saying that. I don't know how many times I have to say this to family vloggers. Idiots. These are the people that pay your bills. Why do you want to piss them off? So you come at us with love and uh, this guy was just upset because your kids could have died. And clearly he doesn't like you. And I will agree with you on that. That guy does not like you. Guys, and we can expect the trolls online have used this as a way to try and stir up a bit of drama, cause a bit of trouble. Again, they, they know it's coming because they're like, oh, here we go. They've taken down the two videos of their trip, by the way, because it showed the girls how far they were in the water. They've also had another video in another drama situation where they left their kid on the beach while they're like 500 yards away in the water and the kid's just sitting there. Someone could have stolen their baby and nothing they could have done about it. They've done this. These are bad parents. Everybody listen to me, okay? The majority of YouTube parents are bad parents. The majority. I'm not saying all of them. The majority are terrible, terrible parents. And so the fact that they are influencing other people is what's scary. There's a video coming out soon about Jess fam where I'm going to talk about this one YouTube, small YouTube family vlogging channel that went after them to see if they could find them, found them. And this little girl is crying her eyes out because she met Jess fam. Like it's Michael Jackson or some shit. And that's the problem. They are influencing people. They're influencing families to start their own vlogs. And this is who you're going to let influence you? And have um, basically just tried to stir things up and not just educate in an appropriate manner. We had someone knock on our door this morning from a kayaking um, club who was so rude. <laughs> like I've never in my life so come across anyone so aggressive and rude. Um, he, was, she, he wasn't talking to you though. He was talking to your emo husband. He asked Chris about, or I don't even know what the conversation. He's so rude, but you don't know what the conversation was? Oh, that makes sense. Like, but he was extremely rude. And um, we've put in a, a formal complaint about his behavior. The campsite that we were on and um, the manager of the campsite or the owner of the campsite was also there, also there with this other guy. As a witness, yeah. And was so embarrassed about this guy's behavior. So embarrassed and has agreed to be a witness in the complaint that we're doing and was extremely we're putting in a complaint to the to the lake police <laughs> what's it gonna do what are you gonna do what are you gonna do there again this is like don't forget the at the initial response to your kids could have died is like deflect hard deflect this guy had no reason to come up to us and tell us we were wrong and now we've issued a complaint Logetic. Not at the fact that this was trying to warn us of the dangers because that's not, not what he did. That's exactly what he did. Yeah, and if you, now you remember. Hear, hear me out. Maybe the guy was a little bit abrasive, okay? Maybe he was. Maybe he's a little bit rude. But you're never going to forget it. And now you're never. Here's the best thing that came out of the situation. If the Ingham's ever go down to water again without life jackets, they're going to be ratioed to oblivion. At least one good thing came from this is now you know they're going to put their kids in life jackets. That's a win. That's a win. So whatever it took, maybe it took them to being publicly shamed to do it. If that's what it takes, that's why we do this. You publicly shame people who deserve to be publicly shamed in order for them to change their behavior. It sucks you have to, but sometimes that's the, that's the issue. That's what you have to do. Um, in the extremely rude manner that he approached our caravan and spoke to Chris. And um, so... So rude. Do you not know who we are? <laughs> we are royal bloggers for the royal highness herself. I am a vlogger. How dare thee come out to us and say things. <laughs> this is always family vloggers like default position. Do you know who I am? 
people who who are in the YouTube world is this very skewed like idea of themselves. Like they, they they know things. They have clout. They can do things. You're on YouTube. I'm on YouTube. The only clout we have is between each other. We can do things to each other. That's it. Call each other out. A little bit cancellates culture here and there. But you're a YouTuber. No one gives a shit. No one cares. That's a side, a little side thing. Anyway, he then decided to scream more. Load. Um, I think he filmed. We've had loads of people saying he's filmed you guys. You need to like have this taken down. So this guy filmed the conversation, I think, and then starts absolutely being so rude and disrespectful. We just watched it. You're making it sound like the guy took out a knife and tried to stab you with it. He was just like, "Have a great day." Basically, you're not famous because he. And then Chris got super upset. So Chris escalated past that point. All he had to do was say thanks. See you later. So she's she's making it sound like this guy was yelling and screaming and freaking out. And it's we just watched it. You watched it with your own eyes. The comments. Obviously, the trolls are loving this, which is hilarious. <laughs> the trolls are loving it, which is hilarious. And she's like, "We, it's so funny." <laughs> <laughs> this is another one like without a crystal ball like this family they have a massive online following of hate like people hate these people like for reasons too it's not just for no reason right there are reasons that people have massive hate there's people that hate me for reasons but these people have a massive audience of hate right so LeBrant's everybody else because they exploit and this whole thing with Chris everybody sees it and they're just going on like nothing ever happened but we have our lawyer taking action against him because it that's a side. You're going to sue a, 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 a hundred year old kayaking canoe guy? Cool. It's a little thing on the side. What I do want to come on here and say is that we appreciate everyone that's warned us about the safeties, safeties, safety and dangers of locks. This isn't something that everybody just knows because we didn't know. And nope. Again, what? So you're telling me you're a parent. And you don't know to keep your kids safe on water? Are you kidding me right now? You don't know to keep your kids safe. And that's why you shouldn't be on YouTube and telling parents how to do things. And you do know. There's a ton of receipts talking about how you've already been ratioed for this. So you absolutely did know. You did. You did. Liar. Stop lying. Quite evidently, not a lot of other people know as well because we have barely seen anyone in life vests the whole time we've been here and we've been at the locks a lot. So it's not something that everybody knows. Oh, so it's everybody else. Oh, so everybody else's fault. Cool, got it, got it, got it. There's no signpost to any of the locks that we've been at. You don't need a signpost to tell you how to keep your kids safe, people. She's, so again, she's, they're, completely to be, they're completely to blame for what's going on here. They're completely to blame for everything here. They are completely in the wrong. 100% in the wrong for what they did. But because there's no signposts, there's other people who did it, we, there's no way we're wrong. This is complete deflection from your responsibilities as a parent. Stop having kids. Dating, you have to wear a live vest. And even the owners of the caravan site that we've just left, because we asked him, like, what's, you know, what's this? He said he was under the assumption that it was just for jet skis and boats, speed boats. No. Again. It's called water safety. Even if there isn't a bylaw, it's stupid. There's bylaws for boats, for sure. For motorized vehicles, I get that. It's for water safety. She's she's completely deflecting. We didn't know you had to. It's for safety. It's for safety, bitch. Are you serious? Aloha. Oh shoot. Go in them now that we know we've looked upon it properly without a life vest due to undercurrents and things like that. So I just wanted to come on here, clear that up, let you guys all know. Um, and that's everything. So I hope oh, thanks for clearing that up. A whole lot of words to say you were wrong. <laughs> having a wonderful day today and we'll see you on the vlog at 5 p.m. It says my birthday, so it's a good one. Good on you, Sarah. All you can do is educate yourself. Of course, they're going to post comments and, you know, so they are in Scotland. We're getting a lot of messages from Scottish people who aren't even aware of the dangers of being on the water without... Are you... No! That is stupid! A lot of messages from idiots who are your fans who are also stupid because they watch you. Clearly, people who are invested in and watch you and like you are idiots. They're morons. So don't... Please don't take their advice either. Idiots. I would let the same about it looking so calm for you guys to be hounded is astonishing. Being educated is fine, but not all this parenting shaming I've been seeing today online. Again, 
sometimes parenting shaming is what it takes. It takes being shamed to say, damn it, I've been shamed. I'm not going to do that again. I hate this idea like, don't do, don't shame people. Shame. Go for it. If you don't like shaming, don't shame people. But some people need to be shamed. It could have been any one of us with our own children making the same mistake. I've been watching this unfold today. This guy has got over 150 new followers on his page since posting about you guys. There's no way he's doing this. He's done it to raise his own profile. Sick. You guys deserve a medal for the way he handles the <laughs> A medal. You deserve, yeah, a medal. Again, if you stand these people, you're dumb. I'm so sorry yous are being spoken to the way yous were. It's absolutely disgusting. I'm Scottish and I have no idea there's a difference between politely informing someone and speaking to people like they are above you. Please don't let this ruin your holiday further up north. We are much nicer, I promise. Sending love to all, to yous all. It's like a y'all for Scottish people? I don't like it. So she just basically, I'm sure lots of you down here are nice too. Just a shame some have to spoil it for others. Thank you. So she's basically saying this guy spoiled Scottish people for us. I <laughs> Serious? Okay. How are you guys not sick of explaining, having to explain everything you do? Because they're vloggers. They do explain everything they do. You put yourself out into the public. We're going to get to that in a minute. And every decision you make, bloody hell, you put up a lot of poop. I'm Scottish and I didn't know this. And I know probably a lot of other Scottish people will message you and say the same. You're not alone, but sorry you're having to take heat for it. No. Water safety is universal. Ha, this just means that being dumb is also universal. So there they go. So she posted his thing. Loch Lomond Rangers have had three complaints about calamity kayaking, asking people to put buoyancy aids on it as a bylaw or a law. So our water safety campaign has now ended on Loch Lomond. Not only unprofessional on every level, but hi hypocritical too. Make up your mind. It's either bylaw or it's not. Thanks for, for IFAM for pointing out they posted to their own Facebook page on Saturday. Again, if the guy's lying about the bylaw, who cares? He shouldn't have lied about it. He should have just said, look, it's, and he should have, he should have led with that instead of just saying, even if it wasn't a bylaw, I don't know why he did that. And then she goes on to talk about the bylaw. Holy frick. If the waters are danger, then of course educate people who might not know, but don't come at us in front of our children like a hard man and then only upload the footage of a conversation that suits your head like a hard man. Pretty sure Chris wrote this. Look, waters in general are dangerous. Your kids were like a hundred yards from the shore on a paddleboard without any buoyancy dangerous i will come at you everybody should come at parents you should be shamed for what you're doing you should be it turns out that the nobody that approached us this morning was in fact a nobody so they're going on about don't say you're above us we're famous but he's a nobody so think about this for a second when you call somebody a nobody what is that what is that saying about you you are putting yourself above them they are nobody to you they're nobody right that's just I me. Mean, that's a deflection of who's he to tell us. We, he's a nobody. We are YouTubers. In, in the law as well, impersonating anyway. a video. So all that crap goes down, right? And so the normal thing to do if you're in the spotlight is completely ignore it. Don't say things. When people make videos about me and it's been my new rule for like six months now, I won't even ever respond. It's just don't respond. If, you, if you're so convinced that you're right and what you did was right, just don't, don't respond. This guy over here with his haircut and his hat that he wears all the time in the summer. Okay, I just, the thing that bugs me most about Chris, well, the first thing is, is that he solicited a 16-year-old girl at Disney. Yep, and they can't go back now. And the second thing is, is this damn haircut. But let's go into it. He allegedly cheats on her a lot. And so there's another family vlogger here that just lives online, makes a bunch of money and has an open marriage, won't talk about it, right? Again, if you want to have an open marriage and let your husband do what he wants to do, as long as it's legal, then just tell people, this is how we live. Why do you, 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 basically you lie to people every single day and you wonder why you have all these haters, right? So anyway, so this is what they posted. They deleted two of the videos that they posted, which is gonna be revenue hit for them. And they're super angry. So then they put this video, we are taking a break from YouTube. What's up guys? So I know you're all expecting Esme's birthday <sighs> video today, but there's been a slight change of plan. You'll still get Esme's <laughs> birthday video and um, we're just not going to upload it just yet we've had a bit of a rubbish day today and uh, so we just wanted to come in here a rubbish day it's because you're a rubbish human rubbish head and 
let you know why, how, what was well actually they're trying to capitalize on this whole drama right so they're they could have just went silent about it not said anything but they're going to capitalize on it. everybody's going to come hey watch this now it's a very smart move actually thinking why are we thinking uh what we're thinking i've sold a great day to be honest uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, did you? You sound like you had a great day with all your Instagram stories deflecting. It's, uh, I don't know. It's just meant. Again, look at the people when they make these videos. Watch their eyes. Look where they're looking. Stress that we did not need today or any time. Nobody needs today. So we were surprised this morning as we were all getting breakfast and things with a bang on the door of our caravan, which is very unusual. Apparently, the guy said, I didn't bang on your caravan door. So maybe knocked politely? Did he go, boom, 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 or did he go, T -t 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 -t. I, I assume the latter. He didn't bang on someone's door. Nobody ever bangs on anyone's doors and on caravans and campsites. So they're, they're lying, straight up. Um, only to open the door and be very rudely and aggressively confronted by... Chris, we all watched it together here. Stop using words that are false to say what this guy was doing. Rude? I'll say yeah, he was slightly rude for sure. Aggressive? Nah. It's an old Scottish guy with a business card. So the fact that they're, they're this is like basically fake. This is how this is how mainstream media are like it's a spin. He's spinning it right now. But we saw it with our own eyes, bro. Some worker from a kayaking some, club. Some nobody. Let's be honest. Yeah, some nobody from a kayaking club. Well, now he's a somebody. You just put it on your damn YouTube channel. <laughs> Again, they keep saying this thing. There's nobody. These are nobodies. Why do you say that? To what end? He's a somebody now. Clearly, he is. He's got you posting his damn Facebook thing. They're posting, by the way, they're posting this on their video so that their their stands will go after him, and they did. There's a ton of comments going after this guy for what he did. So they're doing this as like, go get him. They, they won't say it outright because it's against TOS, but they're saying, go get him right here. That's what they're doing. Who was posing, I guess, as some sort of a ranger for the waterfront. I don't know what he was posing as. No, he didn't say he wasn't posing as anything. So they're saying, again, this is a spin, it's deflection. The guy didn't say, I'm a ranger, here's my card. He just said, here's my Calamity kayaking card. He didn't say that. And so he's saying posing, but that's that's slander what he just did there. So unless the guy said, yeah, I'm a ranger for this lake, this is illegal, then fine. Then you have to prove that. That's Now you're saying he posed as that, you're slandering him. So you got you get your lawyer after him. Your lawyer's going to say, no, I saw the video. You better just shut the shit down because he's going to sue you. But he basically walked into the campsite and demanded that the owner take them to the Ingham's caravan. This is what the campsite owner told us afterwards, after, yeah, afterwards. this guy left. That's because you probably threatened to, like, dox this campsite and, like, send all your stands. That's probably what happened. Um, so that he could, um, you know, just just go to town and it's basically about... Um, I mean, he used the excuse that it was about the... The girls being on the paddle boards uh, with no life vests. The excuse of. That's exactly what he went there for. That's why he went there. But let's hear what you think he went there for. And uh, but it, it was just just a very weird weird attack. It was just, he was just it was just. Oh. Stop calling it attack. He's an old dude that came talk to you. It's just a grumpy old man, basically. You could have said that. It'd have been funny. Some grumpy old man was coming to complain because he loves to complain. He didn't come attack you. The spin that you guys are doing here is actually, this is now entering libelous slander. I don't know if that is the same in UK and Scotland. I don't know. But now you're entering that. One, like he, he didn't, don't, don't matter what I said to him. He'd already made his mind about who we were and what we were doing. Yeah. And if he does know who you are, yep, I would too. If everybody knew what you did and approached you in that way, you would likely get knocked out a lot, probably get a lot of fights, probably get a lot of shame, probably people throwing shit at you and swearing at you in public. You're lucky that everybody doesn't know who you are and what you did. You're lucky. Just lucky that this old man knows. Be happy, Chris, that you're not as famous as you think you are because you would be literally ostracized and canceled forever. That's what you get for allegedly soliciting a 16-year-old girl at Disney. And, um, and, you know, he was just extremely rude. He clearly knew who we were already. Because you're famous. It was obvious by some of the foot, some of the things he said. He knew who we were already, and he. We saw the video. What was obvious about that? Chris said he's famous, and the guy says, "No, you're not." And then Chris got upset for saying, "How do you dare you think I'm not famous?" That's what we saw. Recorded the whole thing, and then uploaded parts. Not to our knowledge. Yeah, we didn't know he was recording. But oh, are you sad again? If you say you're famous and you just said that, you don't actually. If you and if you're in public. And you're a famous person. The rules are kind of different for you. I don't know if you guys know that. They actually are different. You're famous. You're in the public eye. You're that's they can film you. That's just the way it is. You uploaded parts of the conversation. 
to his own social media. He owns a kayaking club on Facebook. What's it called? Calamity Kayaking or something? Calamity. Let's put it up again so our stands go after them like they did. Look, what's it called again? Calamity Kayaking. Everybody, if you're watching this, head over to Calamity Kayaking and leave a good review if you want, just to help them out because you know their stands are going to go after them. Calamity Kayaking doesn't deserve that and they are sending their millions of fans after him. That is crazy. Again, another thing could be held up in court to say, why did you do that? If you hate this guy, he's a nobody. Why are you putting his page all over your YouTube video? Twice now. Calamity Kayak. Calamity Kayak. He uploaded parts of the conversation to suit his narrative to his to his Facebook. And I, I've not seen the comments on there, but loads of you guys have messaged saying how disgusting the comments are. And I think that just shows how unprofessional he is as a person. The comments from this person, from this person's yeah. well, company. from the trolls, and then him slating mm. us. Well, not just that, but he made out that the, the he made out the entire cut out haircut. Please, the greasy teenager look is just maybe. Does he do that on purpose to attract younger girls? He, he looks, he literally looks like a teenager until unless you see him up close. Like he looks like that. He looks like he wants to be in a rock band or a skater. It's really weird, man. It's weird. Everything. How old is he? Forty. I said to him, he automatically twisted. Um, oh, I, I was just so angry I couldn't believe that this man was coming at me uh, in the way he was doing and it wasn't like he was there like oh, I'm just I'm from such and such I'm just advising you guys I'm warning you on dangers yeah it's dangerous to do this you should just that's exactly what that guy did <laughs> that's exactly what he did it, in fact I'm sure one of the first things he said was why don't you use some common sense when you question like what, what like what's going on yeah he said why don't you take a minute a wee minute to think about what you just asked it is common sense, people. Are you saying it's not common sense? Her face right here shows that she doesn't understand that water safety is common sense. These people, where are your kids right now, by the way, while you're in the woods, you know, taking a dump and vlogging about it? Where are your kids right now? I asked him, what, I asked him why he was, uh, why, what's going on? And he said, and he, yeah, he was just immediately aggressive. And then Chris was like, Chris asked him, like, this, this all happened at the caravan. And then this guy walked away. Um, the manager came back and was like, I'm really sorry, like, I, I had no idea who this guy was. He said that it was some sort of water thing and it needed to be taken to our caravan. But I apologise for the way he spoke to you. He, he's like said, I'll be witness, because we said we were making a formal... <laughs> we're making a complaint. We're telling the Queen and she's going to... Off with his head! Plain. And then he wrote down on our booking as well about the incident that happened. Do Scottish people like British people? Is it is there like a clash or is that Scott is that like Scottish and Irish people? I don't know. Is there like beef? Um but then Chris went back to reception just to say, like, you know, have a, just have a chat to the guy and be like, what's going on? Why are you being well, so... Well, no, my original, so my original point was to go and speak to the owner of the caravan club yeah, because that's what I didn't mean. understand why this guy had been let to our caravan and I didn't understand who he was because the guy didn't he didn't explain who he was at the caravan no. it, he just it, it was but you just said he came off as some kind of word you just said that you said warden but he didn't explain you just admitted right there that he didn't explain it to you so yeah but Chris is going over to the owner to say why did you let some guy down in my caravan which I agree with I don't like these people but I agree with that don't let strangers come down and like Accost me and be like, you know, I get it. But that was a little weird. So he wouldn't have to talk about it. I get that. Very, very quick, very rude, very straight, like on the attack. It was just a massive verbal attack from start to finish. As wow. You call that a verbal attack? You've never been verbally attacked then. That was an old man complaining at you. That's what that was. Could have just closed your door and walked in your house. That's it. That's all you had to do. We just, so I was but just. But the guy angry. was still there. And like Chris was like, why? Like this is all not even included. I don't, well, I don't know what's included in the video that he's put online, but I think some people have said that he was talking about the Range Rover. But I think he's edited it in a way that makes it sound like you were being aggressive too. Kept making out like, Chris yeah. said, Chris literally said, I don't understand why you're being so aggressive and rude. Here's what you do at this point. The guy was being super dickish. Sure, walk away. That's all you have to do. Walk away. I saw the second video. I didn't. I couldn't download. I didn't. Couldn't figure it out. He just basically approached Chris again and then said, "You know, he's still angry." So the guy was being. I'll be on Chris's side here. The guy shouldn't have approached him. Good. Chris should have just said, "Leave me alone." Walk away. But then Chris approached him. That's what was going on. Chris then started coming after the guy, and the guy was walking away. The guy definitely instigated it, but Chris kept on it. And he went, "Oh, you think you're so mighty with your black Range Rover and your big caravan? Uh, like, what's what relevance is that?" It, it, but long story short, he was just a nasty. Na because he thinks you're D-bags because <laughs> what you look like. Sure. It's a piece of work. Anyway, he, he, yeah. he, 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 It's just something that basically this... The, he used the excuse of the fact that he's had loads of complaints overnight about our unsafe use of paddleboards on the lock. Now, 
basically what's happened is that all of our usual weirdos that follow us have been obviously contacting this person like they do everywhere we go. You asked for this life. This is what comes with this life. Enjoy it. You get a Range Rover. You get to buy a caravan. You get to go on vacations. You get to go everywhere. You literally blog your life. Okay. But then you also are going to get hate because of what you did to that girl. And likely there's more out there. There's a lot of receipts out there for shit that you guys have done. Lots. We'll get into it. It's crazy what this guy does. The amount of sock accounts and people he's messed up and that he's threatened. It's insane. Chris, man, you want a YouTube box? Let's go. Uh, let's warn them about the Inghams. You know, warn them about Chris Ingham. He's a scary deviant, does it? You are a scary deviant. And does that? No, I don't do anything. I never have done. Receipts. We have receipts. There's receipts. How did this guy get away with just saying I've never done anything? There was receipts for it. There's receipts. Pretty sure he's not even allowed to go back to Florida for because he might get in trouble. Do we have to recut? We have to uncover that again? It's malicious, made up rubbish. There's receipts. Yeah. Like, and, I'm, and I literally have to put up with this BS every single place we go. Here's a solution for you, okay? Get off the internet. You hate this life so much. You hate all the goodness comes with this, all the money that you get. That's fine. You hate it. Go get a real job. Get off the internet if you hate it so much. But if you're going to continue to be on this platform after what you've done and what you continue to do and who you guys are, expect this. Just ignore it. I'm literally so mentally done yeah. with it. And then, bye! Today has just been the icing on the cake. I do just want to point out that this is not just about the life fest. If... If, I mean, it turns out from links that people have sent that most Scottish people, or not most, but some, a lot of Scottish people didn't even know. Now, you can't even say a lot. You can say your dumbass fans who like you say that, but that's like five people. About this bylaw. Or if it is, it is a bylaw. It's not a bylaw. It doesn't matter. It has nothing to do with the bylaw, idiots. It has to do with water safety. Common sense, water safety, that everybody should know. Um, and even if it is a Again, this is deflection from the real matter. The real matter is that you... Had your kids way out far, and likely you weren't even watching them at all, you're probably vlogging somewhere, where they could have died because they didn't have any of the safety vests, no one around them, okay? That's the problem here. Not the bylaw, not that the guy was being rude to you, but you guys have yet to, you guys are completely deflecting from the main issue, and that's what the problem is. Bylaw, because this same guy that came knocking on our door this morning actually posted on his own Facebook page just a day and a half ago, saying that it's not a bylaw, <laughs> and that they're stopping all of their water safety from their company. So which it makes, doesn't, which doesn't, doesn't make, make sense, sense about why he came to our caravan in the yeah, aggressive he manner he did this morning. Yeah, when he literally posted that a day and a half ago. Because it's common sense. Regardless, it's common sense water safety. And maybe he doesn't like you. Maybe he's a, a troll. Maybe. But you gave him ammo. So we don't even know if it's a bylaw, but that's irrelevant, whether it's a bylaw or not. Number one, you don't approach a, a, a family. No, 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 no. Back up, back up, back up. Number one, you don't let your kids in the middle of a lake without water buoyancy. Then you can, this can be number two. Like that, when there's children there. Sure. And I didn't see any kids in the video at all. Or even if there's not children there. And number two, it's irrelevant if it's a bylaw or not. Because if it is unsafe to be in the lock with undercurrents and things like that, we want to be made aware. We so dumb. Any water. Don't oh, mind being made aware. There's no signage anywhere. There's no. It's called being a parent, you idiots. I don't like. Oh, again, they're just deflecting for the blame. For the, like, we we should have known. Anytime my children go in water from this point, if they're going anywhere farther than ten to twenty feet, you know, from standing distance, they're wearing they're wearing buoyancy aids. That's it. That's all you have to do. That's all you have to say. This video could have been ten seconds. Information to tell you, you shouldn't. You know, you should be extra precautious. You know, the water was no completely signs. calm and still. You yeah. know, we didn't see anything we wrong with it at all. So we appreciate it if you guys let us know about things like. They have let you know. Last year, you got ratioed again. I keep saying this. You've already been ratioed for this. You know it. That. But that's not the first incident on this trip, because we have stock. We've had to come and sit. We've had to leave our children where we are, where we're staying. So that's, are you just about to say you have stalkers? So you left your children where they are and went somewhere private. Are you kidding me right now? Uh, maybe take a wee minute to think about what you're about to say. Obviously Isabel's looking after them. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, I just throw them when your teenager's looking after them. And we've had to come and sit in a freaking bush to film this. Because if some of you guys see the colour of the curtain in the background. I don't know how you do it or what you do, but you spend hours searching where we are and then post online, oh, they're at this cabin. <laughs> it's 
<laughs> it's kind of funny. I'm not going to lie. Don't F with cats. You've ever seen on Netflix? It's, they've got so many haters because of what, who they are and what they do. It's not, they don't have haters for no reason. You don't have haters for no reason, right? There are trolls for no reason. It could be people who just don't like you for not liking you. I get that. Maybe 10, 20 people who just don't like you. But they have active people who want to see them being taken down for what they have done and what they have done to other people. That's what we're saying. They haven't just like, they're not just like innocent vloggers. What do we do? There's been some shit like crazy. This family has a lot of skeletons in our closet. So they have a ton of haters. I'm not saying you should ever dock somebody. You should never do that. But it's hilarious. Look, the curtains are the same. We've had to come and sit in a bush. And then we have, this. And then we have the usual. I hope you're standing in human shit by accident. Freaks uploading videos about our location. Like there's something different, right? If you ever walk through woods and you step in human poop versus like a dog poop, it's just it it hits different. It's kind of gross. Happened to me once. Where we are, da -da 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 -da. Yeah, contacting the campsite, thing I'm doing this. Like I was hiding, we were playing hide and go seek at some major park somewhere, uh, at some big park, and I was hiding in these bushes. I'm like, these guys are never gonna find me, and they didn't find me. I actually won, but then I, I realized as I was crouching in those bushes, I'm like, what is that? I looked down, I was literally standing on a big giant pile of human poo, and I've never forgotten that moment in my life. I just, I'd like to forget it though. Gross. Breaking this rule, they're breaking that rule. We're not breaking any rule. We're not right rule. You're breaking. It doesn't matter about the rules. They're saying be safe with your children. They're, again, semantics. We're not breaking rules. No, no, you are being dumb parents. Thankfully, thankfully, the campsites, when we explain to them, are apologetic and, and they understand, but it's, it's not... They probably gave you a refund. Right. It's not right that we're harassed and stalked in this disgusting, malicious way just because... Because what? Because Chris solicited a 16-year-old girl at Disney? Allegedly. You don't like what we do. No, no. We don't, yeah, you guys are crazy. Oh. It's not, it's not, it's gone way beyond that, babe. It's nothing to do with they don't like what we do. It's an obsession. We have a few people that are just so deeply obsessed. It's become their full-time daily lives to <laughs> literally do this to us, to try and damage us in whatever way possible, make up as much BS about us as they possibly can. There are so many receipts out there about dingums that it's mind blowing. When there are receipts, right? It's not, no, it's no longer alleged when the girl comes forward and does a video about you guys, about what you did. Okay. Again, it, you exploit your children, first of all, hugely. And, and there's a lot of inappropriate stuff in the channel, but this stepdaughter, that's not even his daughter. So I'd love to reach out to the bio dad and talk to him. Like I've done to the other bio dads. If you have a, you want to talk to me about it, I'm happy to hear about it. But not only the exploit, but he is, a, he is allegedly a, you know, a predator, Pluto, right? He's a predator. Like he underage girls, he's, he's messaged a bunch of people. He probably, you know, hopefully he doesn't do it anymore. Um, they go, they have lots of sock accounts where they go underground. They try to ruin people's lives. His mother tries to do it. It's crazy. These people are not just your innocent family vloggers. They're crazy. And, and trust and spread me, it everywhere. we don't post online about what we go through. No, never. We, and we and if, if people knew what we go through daily, you would just become, you would just be shocked to the... Then get off the internet. Yeah. To the point where I am, I am sick to death of our family memories being half tainted by stuff like this. Then get off the internet. Everybody. If they were innocently being targeted, then that's different. Right. And I'm, I'm saying you should never target anybody anyway. Right. But they're not innocently being targeted. There are so many people that hate them because they have come after people. A lot of that's retaliatory from them coming after trolls or them coming after someone who has a complaint or this has someone who has an, a logical complaint. Someone who talks about that 16 year old girl. They have all these people who said, like, how are you still around? So these people have made it their life mission, sort of like my life mission on YouTube to remove these kids off the Internet. Right. To get them off there because it's dangerous for them. They don't seem to care. They don't seem to understand what the problem is. They don't seem to think, they don't understand that they're the problem. So they're like, I'm so sick and tired of this. Then get off. It's such an easy solution for you guys. Stop vlogging. Get out of the public eye. You'll be forgotten in six months. Six months. Just get off. If this is so bad for you guys, then why are you still here? It is your choice. That, that we just it happens don't deserve. every holiday. Something every happens. single holiday. You guys go on a lot of holidays too, like 10, 15 a year. We go on. Something happens, some drama unfolds. To the point or where something happens. To the point where we, we love making these videos online, like we adore it. It's the thing we love to do most, and we. You love getting paid by it. That's you get paid a lot. Nine to nine point nine 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 percent of you guys that watch these videos are just the amazing support. I'd say it about this video ratio got about eighty one percent likes. So no, it's not ninety nine point nine percent. You got a huge swath of hate following you normal people that watch these videos and appreciate them for what they are but unfortunately there is just a small few who 
physically drive to our new house and film zooming in through the front windows or zooming on the house from the road behind the house that's at least a mile or so away i get that people should not do that that's creepy don't do that and then put videos up online about it like but that's not normal but they're, behavior but they're protecting our children. but you're famous you said it yourself you're famous so this is a life that you've chosen. And again, I don't agree with those people sh putting cameras in your windows. I don't agree with it. But you have to admit that you're famous and like paparazzi follow famous people. It's kind of the life you chose. You make a lot of money on this platform, but this is kind of the, the this is the dark side of it that you have to endure. It's it's just the way it is. If you want to make this much money and put yourself in the public sphere, this is what happens. Now, it is not appropriate ever to film inside someone's house. Children, that, that, that this is their justification. They're protecting our children by doing this. Like, does how does that even make sense? Well, let me tell you how it makes sense. They want you off of the platform so that you no longer can exploit your children on YouTube. That's it. That's, that's, it's basically that simple. If you get off, that means that your kids in turn will then not have their private lives shared on the internet for everybody to see. That's it. That's protection of your kids. That's what they're talking about. And you know that's what they're talking about. You're just being facetious. That, that's just not... You're just being obtuse. On the behavior. And believe me, believe me, <laughs> those people will be dealt with. Like, they will be... These guys have a... Have a, have a like, they're always about, we're going to sue. We're going to sue everybody. They've never sued anybody. They've been saying this for years. And they're just, they're just threatening it because they think they, they, that's, they're weird like that. They're that type of people like, oh, I'm calling my lawyer. Go for it. You, nothing you can do, buddy. Nothing. They are being dealt with now, but right now we're just completely and utterly done with all yes. of this. Done with our memories being tainted by freaking weirdos out there. I would say that if you talk to that 16-year-old girl, however old she is now, about what you did at Disney, that she would think you're the weirdo. Right? Can we agree on that? Again, guys, all you have to do is look quick online, quick Ingham, underage girl scandal. They did it. He did it. There's receipts. There's literally receipts. You can't deny the evidence. That's why they don't go back to Disney anymore. Done being attacked. Done with it all. This guy this morning was 100% on the troll side. He knew who we were. It was a personal attack, nothing to do with advising us. He has no actual authority, the guy who came to see us no, from doesn't. my research, to <laughs> even have done what he's done. He's just some random Joe thinking he's a job's worth, you know, coming to try and have a personal attack on us, basically. That's what it was at the end of the day, which is now, you know... Uh, what are you wearing? It's not camping attire. Just, I, I'm just, we're just, we're just done. Bye. Confirmed by the Loch Lomond Rangers on the phone that this man was not a ranger, and he didn't say it, and you admitted he didn't say it. And it's nothing to do with the National Park Rangers. He was, in fact, posing as a ranger. No, you said he didn't say any of that. Who's lying here? Was not a part, blah, blah, blah. Confirming that it was just a malicious vigilante, and this was a malicious attack on us for personal reasons. So malicious. This is an old, crusty dude. That's what it was. And, um, yeah, so that... I like how they use, like, legal language. They're, like, they're going to scare this guy. Like, subsequent and malicious and... No one cares. Good luck said guys i apologize to all of our lovely eyes again you can't sue someone for coming up to you and saying hey your kids should be on, have flotation devices if not you know you're not famous there's nothing in that conversation that's not it could be construed as rude of course but what are you going to sue somebody for that and that love our travel vlogs but we're taking some time away from the camera because like chris just said it's not fair on our children that every single holiday we go on is you know what's not fair in your children is that you guys brought all this on it is not fair to your children you're right but let's not forget who's responsible for this, everybody. It's you for doing what you've done. This is it. You put yourself out there. That's what comes with this. Painted. It's not fun. It's like these people all want the cake. They want to eat it too. I don't know what that means, but they they all want everything comes with it, but they don't want anybody ever to, to like ever come at them for doing something wrong or anything like that, or you know, allegedly soliciting as a young teenage girl at Disney. You know, it, it just it's they're not taking any responsibility for what they've done. Me and Chris that we're constantly paranoid about posting and locations being searched and googled and posted online and they're contacting campsites and us having to justify and explain to caravan site owners that this is happening because of this and this is the reason. We're famous. I'm famous. No you're not. Well yes I am. How dare they. And this is what we have to deal with wherever we go. Constant calls to the police. Constant calls to Social services. Yeah. Constant calls from people telling Chris to change his hair. I just, you know, 
Stop it, it's his hair, leave his hair alone. It's just, it's just not worth it. We want to enjoy holidays, we want to make memories with our children, and we don't want that tainted every day. There's a memory of your children, here's the problem. With the thing that comes, I know I'm bringing up this Disney thing, this is all I need to talk about, okay? What he did there is going to haunt them forever. Their kids, if they go to public school, which I doubt they do, they probably are homeschooled, are going to be you know, targeted because of that. Oh, your dad's a P. Uh, if you, if that ever gets out and your kids know who your dad is and watch any of those videos, that shit's out there in the public, your children, like if I, if my kids, if I didn't know, really know who you were and my kids were hanging out with you and all of a sudden I saw that in the video and I'm like, you're not going over that guy's house. That's just not happening, right? This is the life that you decided to lead. This is the mistake that Chris decided to make. And now they're trying to be like, what? What do you mean? This is what you've done. You should have left. That's what you should have done. By you, absolute weirdos that can't leave us alone, that can't just let us have some privacy. And when I say privacy, and don't even dare try and turn it around. You put your life you on the line. You put your life on the line. You <laughs> That's what I said. Showed the island in your kitchen, so therefore you deserve to have your address leaked all over online. No, that's no. Docs, she's right. You should never be doxxed. Never. Doxing should never be a thing. But you you do live in the public eye. So if you're out in public, people, that's what that's it. That's the way it goes. You've chosen this. You make a lucrative living off putting yourself online. So yes, you will not have privacy because you are known. That's the way it goes. That is the give and the take. That is the pro and the con. Not how the world works. Uh, so, uh, and if it was spun the other way, and I did that to you online, it's uproar. There's absolute... Because... That's the way it goes. You're famous. You even said it yourself. Oh, pro I share somebody's first name online. The first name. Oh my gosh, Sarah's doxing someone. Oh my gosh. You people seriously need to get a reality check and you, get a grip. Yeah, literally. Because yeah. <laughs> Again, here's the solution. Get off. He should anyway. And ignore people. You guys feed the troll. This is like troll food. They love this. They're eating this stuff up like it's freaking crunch berries. They love this. Because it's what mad. we go through every single day at the hands of you is actually disgusting and on another level. The thing is that the world is wising up to this sort of abuse. It is wising up and it will come a day where every single one of you fools that do this to us every day are going to answer for it. Yes. No. You need to answer for what you've done, Chris. Trolls aren't going to answer for anything. You're going to have to answer for this in the end. Family vlogging is coming to an end. That's the problem. No one's going to answer for coming at you with opinions. That's not, sorry. Point where we move into a new house, so we deserve people driving past and zooming in on our front window yeah, and making videos about our address and about the history of our address, about where it was built and stuff like, come on. I am I just mean, also going to say, though, that in the past, when we've tried to have these people... Um, Arrested. Removed from <laughs> doing this type of thing to us online. It has always been a case of, is it worth it from the amount of money that it costs? Because it's in the tens of thousands. Yeah, and you've got tens of thousands of trolls. So, yeah, you just, again, ignore it. And I've always, Chris has always said, yeah, we should just do it. And I've always just said, no, just ignore him. I don't care. I don't care. And here you are, not ignoring anybody. Post what they want. I don't care. You don't care. You don't care. Well, this 15 minute video says otherwise. You do care. Because why are you sitting here bitching and moaning? We make so much money on YouTube, but we also get hate because of we're dumb. Why are we wasting precious money? Why am I, I spending tens freaks? of thousands of our pounds on these weirdos? Just leave them to it. I really don't care. No, you care. But actually, now we have agreed that enough's enough. It's worth it. Everything. And we're not. Spend all your money. You're not going to win. You just won't win. We're not doing this anymore. Bottom line, guys, is that we are just two normal parents. And I think actually... This guy talks about, like, like nothing went down. We're going to have to do a whole series on just what he's done. Because I don't think she's done much. We're going to have to get dive in really. Because the 16-year-old girl thing at Disney is just the first, right? But there's more. So he's talking about, like, he's completely innocent. This guy is not innocent, okay? Not at all. We're pretty good parents and we give our children a life of dreams. Uh, you exploit your children and their privacy online for money. The end. Certainly one that I would have considered a dream life when I was a child. Um, we don't do, you know, illegal things. We don't. So then why don't you go back to Disney in Florida? Let's see you guys head back there for a vacation. Let's just see. Just head back. Do anything wrong. I don't do weird things and i have never done weird things it's like am i wrong then are the receipts wrong because the video i did about them 
He was reaching out to an underage girl in text and say, come down to the hot tub. Let's go skinny dipping and all that kind of stuff. Right? Like there are receipts. Is he just like really talking about like these things don't exist? Look at her face. Is he just sitting here like that doesn't exist? Are they just saying that that doesn't exist? And if that's the case, that girl and her family would have slandered them and they could have sued the shit out of them for that. Why hasn't he done that? Despite what many of you little weirdos online want to manipulate. You're calling me a little weirdo. You're calling people. Look at you. I mean, I don't. It's the pot calling the emo hair black, right? Look at your hair. I'm the weirdo. Look at your hat. I'm the weirdo. Look at your actions. We're the weirdos. Look at you, dude. You're embodying like you live in the teenagers. You're just family and dude. We're the weirdos. We're the ones out here literally putting our entire children's lives online and inappropriate about it. We're the weirdos though. Oh yeah. We got that little bro. And twist and make out like like I don't do those things and I never have done those things. I'm just a normal hard working No, and you're not hard working, you're a vlogger. Dad, and that's the end of this Are you a hard working dad? What do you do to work? What do you do? You film your family and then you edit it? That's not hard work, everybody. Let's stop calling it hard work, please. Let's let's be real. It's work, it's not hard work though. It's easy work. Sorry, that is where the story ends. Like, I'm actually pretty boring. I'm just a normal yeah, hardworking dad. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm not any of the weird things that, um, that you'll make the, out. The, there are receipts. Oh, weirdos try and make out constantly. That I am. It's, it's just their, it's just their, you know, their bread and butter. You know, Chris is this. That's why we're doing this. You know, I'm not. You know, I never ever have been. I, I, all throughout any of this and it, it i'm a human being and i have feelings you know and i literally you just couldn't imagine the level of you're a human being feelings but you've done something crazy something gross that the rest of the world finds disgusting and is illegal what you've done allegedly but she has receipts which is i'm like I'm, and I, I'm actually surprised that it hasn't been escalated by her parents even more. I'd like to know more about that story. I reached out to that girl. She doesn't want to talk about it anymore. But she, the videos are online. Just go look for yourself. The receipts are there. It's crazy. But if that was my daughter, this guy would have been just saying. I would have confronted him verbally. Not like that old man, but I would have been up in his grill or at least would have called the police. So we got we to look into it more. Pressure that is on the both of us. Um, and we are just... We're just human beings at the end of the day, and we're not infallible, and we're not indestructible, and you know our mental health matters the same. So get off the internet. Everybody else's does, and um, and we don't do wrong things. Bottom line, we don't do bad wrong things ever, 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 and we just. Well, let's just talk about this video for a minute. Your kids were out in the middle of a lake without flotation devices, so that's a wrong thing. Can we just. Let's just be there for this one, cool? Done with all this BS, done. So, um, so thank you, thank you so much to every single one of you guys that has like supported us and been there for us for the entire journey so far. And everyone who- t I recognize that tree. They're definitely in Scotland. I know exactly what park they're at. I'm gonna Google it. In and every day to watch us still. Thank you so much. Like, Sarah and I appreciate every single one of you more than we can ever tell you, ever, in our entire lives. Tell you, you've enabled us to give our children the life of dreams that we live right now. So, why did you do a 15 minute video on the trolls? Weirdos. And all we're trying to do right now, the same as any parent, is give our children the best experiences that they can possibly have. And then get them off the internet. If you want to protect your children and give them good lives, get them off the internet best life they can possibly have and we work damn hard for it and no nope. we don't deserve to be hounded in the way that we are i don't deserve to be hounded in the way i am Cons he does the rest of the family doesn't i don't deserve to log on to my instagram every day and have bs written about me for, for no reason untrue false so then sue that that girl's family exonerate yourself it's written about me every day for no reason um it's for a reason it's just completely and utterly wrong and there's only so much a person can take so thank you so much and um and we'll we'll see you guys soon
After speaking in depth with the actual park rangers when reporting this incident to them, we have since learned that a buoyancy aid should be attached to a boat or paddleboard. It is not mandatory to wear them, but it is recommended to yes, exactly. Due to extreme cold temperatures and water depth, the wearing of which is something that we will always practice going forward and again. So there's the win of this whole video right there, guys. That's the win. They learned their lesson. That clearly, this guy still thinks he's innocent, which is amazing to me that this guy thinks he's innocent. So, you guys know the Ingham scandal, right? If you don't, head back and watch my video. There's an Ingham scandal. I'm going to cover it more. I'm going to cover all their scandals now. This guy just came out and said, we have never done anything wrong. I have never done anything wrong. We do not deserve any of this stuff. But now we're going deep dive. Ingham's deep dive. Crazy that this guy thinks he's just like, yeah, we're fine, right? No, we're good, right? Whatever. Anyway, guys, make sure your kids are safe on the water. In the end, this is all about water safety this summer. It's Water Safety Summer with the Dad Challenge Podcast. Jess fam, water safety. Watch your children. Ingham's, let your kids wear a life jacket on a paddleboard 150 yards from the, from the shore. Freezing cold water. Cool? All right. Let's just be real. Water safety is really important. Of, of all the dangers of anything these guys have done, water safety to me is like the craziest one that none of them seem to understand. And these are parenting influencers influencing other parents so that's coming up next about jess fam and that crazy family it's nuts this influencer culture actually does permeate into people's brains and they want to do that they want to copy i think one of her friends that they went on a party with uh, i forget her name oh what's her name something sun kiss baby or something has freely admitted that jess fam like inspired her to be a teen mom and then like do all the stuff and vlog and all this craziness it's insane so Whatever, let's take a breath. You're lovely, gorgeous, beautiful. Excellent, and I hope that you know your value and your worth. Just remember, don't, don't ever forget how awesome you are and the things that you do for people around you and that you keep your kids safe. Please keep your kids safe, especially in the water. I love you, and I will. See you tomorrow. Oh, you see this by She gave me this. It's really nice. Okay, bye.